Hey everyone, today I'm releasing my Warlock UI and Wigora's pack covering all three specs, the Affliction, Demonology and Destruction spec. All my user interfaces and Wigora's are entirely free, so you can proceed to download them from the website link in the description below. And in the links, you will also find two videos. The first video is a basic guide on how you can install my UI, and more importantly, customize the UI to track your own trinkets, spells and other advanced logic. The second video is a 90 minute long vod showing you how I built an entire user interface from scratch together with my Twitch livestream using the Windwalker as an example. And all these revamped Wikoras are now foreign language compatible, so it will work even if you're not playing the English version of the game. And with that out of the way, let me then walk you through each component of my user interface so you know exactly how they function after you import them into your own game. Let's start with the Affliction Lock, talking about the first row of icons the first row tracks your rotational abilities, which is the bread and butter of the buttons you will press. And when the abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and grayed out. As usual, we don't track abilities that do not have a cooldown associated with them. For specific dots, such as Unstable Affliction, Agony, Corruption, and Haunt, when there are no dots on your targets, these icons will be desaturated. And when the dots are applied, it will show the duration of the debuff on the icon and there will be a glow effect around the icon when the remaining duration is about to run out as a reminder that you should reapply the dots. The roll then rounds off with Dark Soul Misery and your talent choices between Sow the Seed, Phantom Singularity, or Val Taint. And lastly, it also has your Covenant abilities which will differ based on your Covenant choices. The second roll then tracks various utilities and cooldowns that includes Dark Glare, Zinch Magic, Teleport, Shadow Fury, Gateway, Unending Resolve, Mortal Coil, etc. And moving on to the elements above the icons, you will see 5 purple bars that represent your Soul Shard buildup. Above all of that is your buff bar. This is more than a usual buff bar, it will also remind you to apply curses if it's missing from your target. It then tracks buffs like Misery, Dark Glare, Nightfall procs, Burning Rush, Unending Resolve, etc. That sums up the Affliction Lock, let's talk about the Demonology Warlock. As usual, the top row tracks your rotational abilities, which is the bread and butter of the icons and your rotations. When the abilities are on cooldowns, the icons will be desaturated. And the core abilities here include Summon Valfine or Soul Strike, dependent on what you talented for, as well as Call Dread Stalkers. The Call Dread Stalker icon will glow whenever you have a Demonic Calling buff, which results in a cheaper cast of Call Dread Stalker in terms of Soul Shards. I also track the Demonic Core buff as the third icon, which signals to you how many stacks of the buff you have, and as a result, how many free cards of Demon Bolt you have. The rest of the row then tracks the CD of Demonic Strength, Demonic Tyrant, Fell Guard, following your Covenant abilities, which will also vary based on your Covenant. The second row tracks various utilities and cooldown, including your Pet Utility, Teleport, Shadow Fury, Mortal Coil, etc. And moving on to the elements above the icons, again you see 5 purple bars that represent your soul shard buildup. And above it all is your buff bar, it reminds you to apply curses and it also tracks buffs like unending resolve, demonic power, etc. And that's all for the spec, let's talk about the destruction warlock next. Similarly for the destruction warlock, the top row tracks your core abilities and the icons will be greyed out when they are on cooldown. It starts off by tracking havoc and its duration on your current target. It then tracks Emolate followed by Cataclysm if you have talented for it. The fourth icon you see here is your stacks of the Backdraft buff, which implies a shorter cast time for your next Incinerate or Chaos Bolt. It then finishes with tracking Infernal and Dark Soul Instability or Channel Demon Fire depending on your talent choices, before rounding off with your Covenant abilities based on your Covenant choice. The second row tracks various utilities and cooldowns that includes Teleport, Shadow Fury, Gateway, Mortal Coil, etc. And as usual, above the icons, you see 5 purple bars that represent your soul shard buildups. Above it all is your buff bar, it comes with a reminder for you to apply curses if it's missing on your target. It also tracks buffs like Unending Resolve, Reign of Chaos, etc. And that my friends sums up the walkthrough of my user interface and Wigoras for all 3 specs of a Warlock in the Shadowlands. You can find a step-by-step -step video install guide in the description below. It covers how to install the user interface in 3 simple steps, as well as answers to some frequently asked questions including how to track your own abilities, trinkets, how to move the Wigoras and resize them, amongst other questions. My website where you download the user interfaces also has detailed instructions on how to install them. All feedback and questions are welcomed. For feedback, definitely drop them in my Discord community and I'll update the Wigoras over time to address bugs and errors. 
If you have questions about the user interfaces, feel free to pop by my live stream. I stream most days of the week. My Twitch handle is in the description below. Happy to answer your questions live. And if this video is helpful, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily Shadowlands videos and I will also release class week or us for all the other classes in World of Warcraft. And lastly, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for making this entire endeavor possible. You make it possible for me to build and maintain the user interface for every spec and class. And a big thank you to you for watching the video. Take good care and enjoy the user interfaces and we chorus.